morning and welcome to Penrith. So today I'm here to show you the property behind me that you can see with the black door. It is a four bedroom terrace property located in an elevated position at the top of Wurzel Street which is a highly desirable residential area in Penrith, walking distance to the town centre and um, really handy for the schools too. So um, this property is deceptive in size, um, you've got four bedrooms and a private garden to the rear. It also has a garage which is really desirable in this area too. So I'm just going to show you the street scene. So if you see behind me, that's Penrith Town Centre behind me. And then swing round, you can see how close we are to the top of the road. So you've got the beacon just um, above me there. So let me twist you around and take it into this beautiful house. Okay, so this is... Um, the property that I'm going to show you today it is number 43 so it's accessed by a couple of steps up into the front of the property if you just look to the left there the black door that you can see that is um, the doorway to the passageway which leads into the rear garden of this particular property and then a little bit further down the street behind the bushes is the access into the garage uh, which is a really good selling point for this property um, although we are at the top of Wurzel Street um, and parking isn't usually a problem on in this street. So let's go inside. So as we go inside you see we've got a, a small entrance vestibule here and this beautiful doorway which is part glazed and leads through into this lovely inviting hallway. So you've got fabulous space here you've got lots of original features and you've got this gorgeous wooden floor and then to the left here this is the first of the of the city rooms so you've got views out to the front of the property out onto Wurzel Street and in here you've got a couple of alcoves either side of the fireplace with built-in storage and um, a lovely modern gas fire it's a really nice mix of contemporary and traditional in this property, which you'll see as we go around. So this is the first sitting room. We've got stairways up onto the first floor landing. And then to the left here, we've got a small cellar, which has got sandstone flags and is currently just used as a pantry. But you've got a great place there to put an extra fridge freezer and lots of shelving. And then through into... The second reception room, so this is a lovely homely room with a wood burning stove. It's still got a really high ceiling and some ornate cornicing and picture rail and an open door leading through into the kitchen diner. I'll just let you take this in because this is a really, really homely room. And the wood floor is consistent throughout the ground floor here, so it really does make it very attractive. And then through into the kitchen. So you can see just how smart this kitchen is. You've got a cream stick shaker style kitchen with a built-in fridge freezer and a built-in dishwasher, an inset sink and a view overlooking the garden, but we'll go out there in a, in a short while. So looking back at the kitchen, I'll let you just see how lovely this room is and how open plan it is. You've got loads of space for a dining table Got a really smart radiator there and then this door leads out into the rear garden but they've utilized the space really well and made it into a small utility area so you've got your boiler housing for a washing machine okay so this property is set over four floors so we've seen the cellar and this is the ground floor i'm just going to take you up onto the first floor now So the New Streets area is a really desirable area of town. Lots of people want to live here. The, route, the houses are very deceptive inside. It's like a TARDIS. It's um, much bigger than it appears from outside. I'm just going to let you see the first floor land in there. And then we'll go into the master bedroom first of all. So this is a really good size double with built-in wardrobes. Great space. have a little look out the window so this is quite an open outlook so you can see the property isn't overlooked at all you're overlooking somebody else's garden across the road so there's nobody glaringly looking in at you and I'm sure from here 
you'll be able to get a, a glimpse of the Lakeland Fells on a, on a good day. So this is a master bedroom. On here, on the landing, we've also got a couple of storage cupboards. So one just here and then another one just beside the bathroom here. So that's just currently shelved with a radiator. It's like an airing cupboard. And then we have bedroom number two, which is currently used as a study. So this is a small double room and overlooks the kitchen extension and into the garden. It's currently shelved out with um, built-in desk and cupboards. There's a radiator in here, but perfect for home working. Just let you see the size of that. And then on this floor, we've also got the family bathroom. So this has got underfloor heating. It's really stylishly designed and has a white suite with a large double shower. You've got a couple of mirrors, um, built-in cabinets on the walls there, and you've got a heated towel rail. And then we go up to the second floor. So let me take you up here. So this is the second floor landing. Here we have access to the loft, which has got a ladder, it's boarded and has got a light up there. And then up on the second floor, we've got two further bedrooms. So this is the first of the two. Lovely Velux window and a really good size double. We're up in the eaves of this property, but the ceiling height is still really quite high. So the space isn't compromised at all. And then across the landing into bedroom number four. Currently uses a twin room, but it's still a good size double, good ceiling height, Velux window. And you've got under eve storage in here as well, which is hidden away, um, but perfect for any extra things that you want to hide away, Christmas tree, etc. And then into the last room, which is the bathroom on the second floor. So again, you've got underfloor heating. You've got a heated towel rail, white suite, and a shower over the bath. Again, this is contemporary, completely tiled. So you've got a tiled floor and tiled walls in this, this bathroom. And it is really stylish. So as you can see, you've got a really good mix of a traditional Victorian terrace property, so over four floors, but you also have lots of quirky touches. So you've got the contemporary bathrooms, you've got a nice kitchen dining extension to the rear. So it works really, really well. So now I'm going to show you the outside of the property. Just go back down the stairs. The lounge and I'm going to show you out the back of this property so the property does also have a garage like I mentioned at the start of the video which is just a, a minute or two's walk down the down the road but it is a private garage and then out of the kitchen and into the yard the weather's not so great today so you can see there we've got a stone out building it is attached to the building belonging to the property next door but it is solely for the use of this property so Got a wooden door here and it's currently used for storage it has got water and it has also got electricity in here too the gate that you can see there that leads out onto the passageway which gives access from the front of the property and this garden is really private so you can see they were not overlooked by anybody at all you've got some lovely established trees and shrubs and you've also got a wood store and a lovely low maintenance garden which is currently pebbled with this path here. I'm just gonna walk you to the end so that we can see the property from the rear. It's quite a, quite a long garden, this. Small vegetable patch at the end here and some trellising. And this is the property that we're selling here. So you can see we've got a really lovely private garden. So this property is coming to the market for £350,000 and if you'd like to arrange a pre-market viewing of the property please give us a call on 01768 888 1111. Thank you.